welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. Today, we're gonna do some extreme underclocking. Woohoo! All right. So, the reason why we're doing this is because when you go to game with the 30, 60, 12 gigabyte and only two fans, you run into a bit of a fan noise problem. So we're gonna do some extreme underclocking and make things quieter. We don't want headaches when we game, do we? All right. Okay, so if you're having trouble with the 3060 um, making too much fan noise, uh, what, what you can try and do is underclock your video card. Um, so I'll take you through that. So the settings that I've been using are um, from bitrebels.com. Uh, Technology, NVIDIA, Control Panel Settings, Guide, Best Performance. Okay, so um, I've gone through and just um, put these all of these um, settings into NVIDIA settings. Uh, so you can just click that, uh, the green a little icon, um, where you can um, change your settings, the NVIDIA control panel. Okay, and um, I've just gone through, selected what they've, they've said. Um, now the one thing that um, I've done differently is on vertical sync I've put uh, adaptive this will allow uh, your uh, FPS uh, to have a maximum of, of 60 frames per second okay so if you 4k gaming on a 60 Hertz monitor or TV such as I do uh, by doing that um, you put uh, less stress on the video card um, and it runs cooler. Okay, so that's uh, the one thing that I've done differently. Okay, so um, what I'm going to use um, today is the MSI Afterburner to show you the, the um, underclocking. Um, you can use whatever um, um, overclocking program that you want if you want to use the uh, program that came with your video card, um, I understand. Um, you, you can probably just adapt um, what I do here to the, there. So I learned about the 3060 overclocking from Jay's Two Cents. So I used his method. He used his MSI after burner to do his overclocking. So I went and, 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 and just followed what he did to learn about um, how, how to do it. Um, so I'm going to use basically the, the same um, technique to underclock the card. With MSI Afterburner, um, you can have um, five different profiles here. Okay, so basically, um, the uh, I've got the number three profile um, here, um, and it basically um, has the out of the box settings here. So the memory frequency um, is is plus zero, which means it hasn't been raised or lowered um, the core clock the megahertz um, has not been um, raised or lowered. It's at, at zero. Um, temperature limits 83 degrees, power limits 100%. So uh, basically I've got, um, been doing a bit of playing around um, and I'll just, sh I'll just show you. I'll just leave it here for the out of, out of the box settings for the moment and we'll start up Hitman 3, all right? Okay, so by clicking options, you can see what settings I have. Um, so I'm using uh, the 4K um, resolution, um, exclusive full screen VSync on uh, at 1 100% FPS, HDR is off, um, super sampling minimum 1, level detail ultra, high quality. You can just see here what my settings are. Okay. 
push and blur off um, because it's a 12 gigabyte card. Override memory safeguards are okay. So I've got VSync on and. The SSAO. Um, so I've got that on minimum. Okay, so that's the main thing. Everything got really high settings, but with the SSAO, um, this is the one that really hits your graphics card hard. So we've got um, 54 frames per second. Um, and the graphics card's heating up. The fan's at 80% on the graphics card. I've got minimum fans uh, on my uh, on my case uh, for the um, extract of the heat. Uh, so the exhaust fans are at the minimum that they can go. So we've got GPU uh, temperature. Um, the load on the GPU is 99%. Um, it's running currently at 1612 megahertz. The fan is 80%, running at 2357 um, revolutions per minute. Uh, the memory is 5242 megabytes being used out of 12,000. Um, and the frequency of the memory is at 8054. CPUs uh, running at around 50 degrees, at about 40% load, uh, at 4.1 gigahertz or 4,100 megahertz, and it's using uh, about 31 watts. Uh, system RAM is 10,400. Okay, so that's what those those settings are, and then you've got the FPS uh, frames per second. Okay, so um, what we can do is we can just Press escape um, and then we go over to afterburner um, and then um, we can actually um, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the power limit to maximum and the temperature to, to maximum so it actually won't force it to 90 degrees and it won't use 111 uh, percent of the power what what by putting that to the max it allows the card to have any power that it needs to use, okay? Um, so if, if that makes you a bit nervous, um, what you can do is you can just set, say, the power limit to um, 105, 105%, okay? Uh, I'm gonna set it to the max. And the reason why you wanna uh, set it more than 100% is we're gonna actually overclock the memory. Um, there's, there's lots of room to overclock the memory we're just going to overclock it um, a little bit. So we'll just put it up to, um, let's, let's just put it up to 504 plus 504. Um, and um, this doesn't generate a lot of, of heat that I can observe um, at, this, at, at this small overclock for the memory. Um, and the core clock, what we're going to do is we're going to underclock that. Okay. We're going to take that. Now the minimum would be, 502 so make uh, negative 502 um, I see what's working pretty good for my card is about minus 350 so we'll do that okay minus 356 okay so we've got power limit uh, full 111 temperature 90 core clock nine negative 356 and we've got the the memory, the DDR6 memory, we're, we're um, increasing that uh, by 504 uh, megahertz, okay? okay? All right, now what we can do is we click this little um, tick, okay? And that's going to activate those settings. Um, and to save it, you can... Um, save that by clicking the little disk okay and then choosing one of those profiles to save it on okay and if you just leave it there it's actually going to start up 
if you have the settings for the MSI afterburner um, to, to start up with, with the settings, then it will start up with that if you have this um, selected. Okay, so we're going to save that, say, to... Um, I'm going to save that to number four. Okay, so we're at 55 FPS, so I'd like to see it at around 60. Um, so let's just, um, we're going to move it. Whoops, what have we got here? Oh, okay. So we've got that. We're going to make it uh, 250, minus 250. Okay, so we're going to make it uh, tr give... Minus 251 uh, on the core clock. Um, activate that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save that to my prof profile 4. Okay. So that's activated. And so we're going to go back to the game. Okay, so we're at... 58 FPS. Um, we're at 62, 63 degrees. Just checking the 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 temperature to see if it's stable. Okay, just going to leave this scene and we're just going to run around a bit. Okay, 60 FPS. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, we're right around the 60 FPS mark. When I do that uh, supervision thing, um, you know, it's still still pretty good. Um, and um, as we run into um, more people, then the, the, the FPS may come down a bit. Yeah. right into this uh, dance floor we'll have a look uh, at the FPS um, so we're out here with hundreds of people um, so the FPS comes down quite a bit but still I've got I've got it's, it's very smooth gameplay you know there's no stuttering it's very smooth very playable okay So I'm being chased at the moment. I look a bit suspicious. Running around. Well, I've got fewer people here, 60 FPS. Okay, we're just in the lounge. Okay, a lot of drunk people and stuff in here. Look, they're wasted. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Shouldn't do that. Okay, so um, that's, that's that. Okay, so we're all playing at 4K, um, really high settings, um, and um, yeah, it's going great, and, and the, the fan noise um, is very low, um, and that's because we've got the 3060 fans at 80%, okay, and the temperature is, is stable, 62, 63 degrees, okay. Um, how to do the fan curve? 
So again, x-axis temperature and the uh, y-axis is percent fan. Um, so basically I've just got the um, fans constantly running at 55%. Okay, and then um, and then once it hits uh, 55 degrees, it then um, shoots up to 80%, stays at 80% until it reaches until it reaches here, which is at uh, set, um, what is that? That's at 68% uh, 68 degrees Celsius. Um, so it goes from stays at 80% fans, 80% from 60 degrees through to 68 degrees and then it's going to shoot up to 100 percent if it goes above that okay um so once i what once i set set all these points you know you can just move these points um for the curve uh just click apply and then okay um and we'll use that same fan curve, it seems like it uses the same fan curve for whatever uh, profile you use. If we go to profile three, which is out of the box settings, activate that, then you can see um, it is set for the memory to be at 7,300 megahertz, okay? So it's plus zero, okay? and the um, core clock frequency 1882 okay it's right there temperature limit 83 and 100 percent okay so when we put on when i put on my underclock minus 251 on the core clock slight overclock on the memory and i've got the power limit temperature up all the way um, that does not force it up there. It just uses whatever power it needs to, to do its thing. Okay, I'm just allowing it to do whatever it wants to do. Um, okay, so we'll just activate that underclock. And so that's Hitman 3. Hey, so we've got a good game. We're playing 4K. We've got 60 FPS. Wonderful. Low fan noise. So if you have that problem with the fans going up too high, you could try this uh, underclocking and uh may, may just help you um all right well uh um thanks for joining us here on pc gaming tech summary all right and uh you know what to do okay all right you know what to do i know that all right we're gonna have a little bit of uh some some amazon affiliate links um that's the only way i can make money i need a thousand subscribers as you probably know in order to get monetized, which means um, in order to get money from commercials and that kind of thing. Uh, so the channel's just uh, new and we're growing, a few months old. I'm going to just keep at it and have a lot of fun. Um, and I'd love, love for you to come along for the ride. We'll do all sorts of different things. Um, please comment in the, in the comment section if you have any ideas or you'd like me to do anything um, as far as uh, videos. And uh, have a great day. All right. And remember... Don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.